Every iPhone comes with powerful features that Apple barely talks about. And a few of these hidden settings can really mess with your day. Today I'm breaking down 12 settings that can genuinely make your iPhone better to use. They're not new, but they may be new to you. And at least two of these are going to fix something that's probably been bugging you for a while. Let's dive in. This feature has always annoyed me and looks a little embarrassing in front of others. Hang with me, I have a replacement for it. You're typing a long message. You almost drop your iPhone and suddenly it tries to undo what you just typed. The culprit is shake to undo. So let's turn that off. Type shake to undo in spotlight search and toggle it off. Here's the replacement for it. In the event you want to undo what you've just typed, simply double tap the screen with three fingers. You also get an additional row of options, including redo, cut, copy, and paste if you need them. You may not know that you can hide an app on your iPhone without deleting it. They just disappear from your home screen and live quietly in a hidden location. Choose the app you want to hide, long press it, choose Require Face ID, then choose Hide and Require Face ID. Then at the pop-up, choose Hide App. Now the app is secure in the hidden folder at the bottom of your app library. To find your app library, just scroll to the left through all of your home pages until you get to the app library. Then scroll to the bottom and you'll see the hidden folder with your hidden apps. By the way, you will not get any notifications from a hidden app. So just remember that or you may forget that the app ever existed. If you ever take a call in a car or in a noisy cafe, this next tip is magic. Voice isolation aggressively cuts background noise. During a call, swipe down from the right top corner to open Control Center. Tap the Controls tile at the top for the app that you're using during this call. In FaceTime, for example, tap Voice Isolation. This feature uses machine learning to prioritize your voice and effectively filter out background noise for the person on the other end of the line. I've taken calls next to a running sink and the other person didn't know. Share this video with someone who's always calling you from noisy places. This next tip solves a real problem. Let's say you have one app that you really enjoy using with one exception. The font size is just a little smaller than you prefer. Did you know that you can change font size for that one app without affecting the font sizes of all the other apps? Go to Settings, Accessibility in the General section at the bottom. Select Per App Settings, then add the app you wish to change the text size on. Now select that app and tap on Larger Text and you can adjust the slider to choose a text size just for that app and you can make it larger or smaller. So now you know how to change the text size for just that one app without messing up the rest of your phone. If any of these tips are helping you, click that hype button. It really helps others see this video. Speaking of text, sometimes it's just a good reminder to go back and review your text replacement settings as you come up with shortcuts that you type on a regular basis just to save keystrokes. Go to Settings, General, Keyboard, Text Replacement. This turns OMW into On My Way or HB into Happy Birthday. I have one for my address and my email address too. Earlier we talked about hiding apps. So let's talk about hiding photos too. Hidden photos are completely removed from your regular photo library and locked with Face ID. Go to Photos, long press on a particular photo that you want to hide and select Hide Photo. Now that they're locked with Face ID, you can find them in the Collections area of Photos, in Utilities section, in the Hidden folder, where you'll see the padlock to indicate that it requires Face ID. This is perfect for hiding personal photos that you don't want others to accidentally see, or even surprises you don't want spoiled. Speaking of photos, you may find this tip useful too. You may have a group of photos that you would like to apply a filter to. Just edit the first photo and then click the ellipsis. Then choose Copy Edits. Now go to the folder of photos that you want to edit. Select all of the photos you wish to change. Click the ellipsis and choose Paste Edits. So you edit once, paste everywhere. This is huge for vacation shots or for product shots. This allows you to edit one photo and then apply it to dozens of others. This works great for filters and for crops. Here's one that I've used, but I often forget that the option exists. Choose a live photo, click the live photo button at the top left, choose between loop, bounce, long exposure, and you can have fun with this one too. Live photos aren't just animated, you can turn them into short videos. 
This enhances some of those otherwise ordinary moments. Here's one I completely forgot about. Maybe you have too. If you have an iPhone Pro model, open the Measure app, place a person in the frame so that you can see them from head to toe, and their height appears without doing anything else. I suggest you grab a screenshot by clicking the Measure Camera button and then send it to them. It uses LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it's a technology much like radar or sonar, but uses light waves to measure distances and is highly accurate. If you don't like the names of your Bluetooth devices, or you have too many with similar names, then here's a quick tip to rename them. Once your device is connected via Bluetooth to your iPhone, simply go to Settings, Bluetooth, click the I, and then click the name, and give it a better name that stands out from the others in your family, for example. Bluetooth lists can get messy fast. You can rename devices, but only when they're connected. Now there's no more guessing of which AirPods are yours. This next tip is very helpful especially if you're the person who's always showing others how to use things on their iPhones. Wait, that's me. Go to Control Center, long press on screen recording, and turn the microphone on. You may need to add it to Control Center first by clicking Add a Control and search for screen recording. This is how you record tutorials or explain bugs or help family with your voice included. Just a note, it remembers your choice, so next time you screen record, you may want to turn the microphone back off. I used to be the person that never took advantage of this one, but lately I've been using it more and more. Open Spotlight Search and search for Low Power Mode, and you can toggle it on or off right there. Or a much easier way, go to Control Center and toggle on or off low power mode right there. Low power mode really stretches your battery life when you simply can't charge. I've gone for hours on less than 10% battery. I have to admit I have an automation for it, so it toggles on automatically. That's another automation shortcut I failed to mention in a previous video. It's easy to go back to the shortcuts app, click automation, search for battery level, set the slider to 20%, Search for low power mode, click set low power mode. Now when your battery hits 20%, low power mode automatically kicks in. The reason low power mode works so well is it cuts out background refreshes. It does a slight reduction in the speed and the power of your CPU and your GPU, which significantly cut on the energy usage. It also automatically lowers your screen brightness, which you can manually increase it again in Control Center if you like. It does a number of other things behind the scenes. Bottom line, it's very effective in helping your battery last longer. There you go. 12 iPhone tips that you may have missed or forgotten about. If one or more of these helped you today, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, it's free to do. Just click that button. Also, I mentioned this earlier, but there's a relatively new button called Hype that's just a little over from the Like button. And it's free to do as well. And it really helps promote this video. Thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time.